Hi everyone, this is Ross, a product director for TC Circuit, and this is the first in a series of video installments aimed at helping new users both install the ggleap client, get accustomed uh, to the ggleap web admin, and also to learn about the best way to set up the customization and various setting options that we have so that the software is running in a way that best suits your business needs. So the assumption at this point is that you already have created an account with us and you have a 30 day free trial. If you haven't got that, that far yet, please reach out to us in the bottom right hand corner of any of our web pages, for example, ggcircuit.com. And we're there 24 seven and we'd be happy to set you up with a 30 day free trial. Once you have the trial, you'll be sent an email to create an account. And with that account, you'll be able to log into our services. So I'm doing this demonstration on a virtual machine. So you might see some stuff that you don't normally see on a real PC. Um, and it may be a little bit laggier than a normal PC as well. So please take that into consideration. So I'm gonna open uh, Chrome. I'm going to go to admin.tgleap.com. And from here, I'll log in with the credentials that uh, I have created and which you should have already received from us. Okay, so the initial dashboard here is showing me that there are no computers found. Obviously, there's a lot of zeros here in terms of um, revenue and computers available, things like that. There's a lot of options on the left-hand side, which we'll get into as well as various settings and configurations. But the first thing we'd like to do is just, let's see what the ggleap client looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and download the client. Okay, so the client installer has been downloaded. I'm going to go and install it. Before I proceed, I should tell you that you should be installing the client on a gaming PC rather than an ad admin PC that you might have behind reception. And the reason for that is that ggleap will reboot the computer into a kiosk type setting, which means that it's a, it's you can't get to Windows desktop um, without performing some uh, administrative action. So it does lock down the PC um, you can't break it with uh, the credentials that you have, but you know it's best practice to actually file the software on an actual gaming PC that you intend to use in your business. So I'm gonna go ahead and install. Okay, and now I'm gonna start GGLeap and this will trigger the, the various security settings necessary to run ggleap and it will reboot the client PC. But the first thing that it will ask for is my credentials. Open. So these are the same credentials that I use to access the administrator and that is how the back end connects the administrator to the client. And now the PC will run its first time installation. At this point, I can select a name for the PC. Usually this is PC uh, a number of some kind. You can put in just a number or quite often it can be PC five, something like that. And now the PC will restart into a kiosk. Okay, so ggleap client has now booted up for the first time. And this is the login panel that gamers will see on your gaming computers. By default, you can see that there's a video playing in the background that is fully configurable by you. You can choose the videos that play or perhaps choose a slideshow of images. You'll also notice here that um, because I haven't used the keyboard or mouse in 30 seconds, the login panel actually disappears so that you can see the full screen and display whatever it is that you would like to display using the full desktop real estate. Um, but if I go ahead and just uh, click inside this virtual machine and move my mouse around, you'll see that the login panel will open, uh, allowing uh, the user to create an account or log in. Now your employee credentials will not work here. This login panel is for the gamers. Uh, so for that, that to work, you will need to create a gamer account. You can do that either on the client itself, or you can do that within the web administrator. Uh, we will cover settings like this in the next video.